Rex! I have a decent amount of gold. I haven't fixed the money explosion on you yet, unfortunately. Whenever I fix that, I'll probably give myself some gold as a reward. But that's okay. We have a, an extremely high quality health potion that would cost half my money. We have one hell of a lucky Nico with plus three to hooker punch times two plot combo and a scene on TV. Again, lots of money, but damn, that's a good lucky Nico. The best lens of truth ever to exist. A mysterious treasure with negative eight to patience. I definitely do not want that. Uh, pretty shitty golden kunai. Got a Geno doll with plus five to mana. Got a blue rupee. That is an extremely expensive rupee. It's probably worth five. And then another Nucky Nico of much higher quality, but no, no. We, look at that. Look at those. No. Bam. Bought. Half my money gone, but it's worth it. I'd like the mana too, but not for that price. The Goonies 2! I've seen people play this game, and the start key is not a key, by the way. But I don't remember anything about this game. So exactly how did you get out of jail to take Annie? This game is extremely long from what I recall. And you have to find a bunch of shit to do a bunch of shit. Yeah, it's one of those. Oh my god, look how big this is. There's like warps to go between areas that you can't get to otherwise. Do 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 oh god do 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 Let's go in this door. Hey, let's no go back in that door. Take Go that way. Hit the safe Tools key I'm not wasting a key on that. I guess I can't go that way. I got two keys! I'm also half dead already. I've got a hammer. Is that, like... Unfist yourself! Jesus! Okay, now we still have the hammer. Well, I guess there's nothing here for, for legit. How do I unfist? Do I just go over here, or...? Down. I want to not be fisted. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who do not want to be fisted. But I really don't want to fist right now. What's the secret to go back to the menu? Oh, okay. I see. The problem is you have to hit something and then you're back in the menu and you don't realize that because you're an idiot. At least that's what my problem was. Let's continue. Oh. Of course, bird. Of course. Run! Oh, he can't come down. 
This is exactly the kind of game I should like, but for some reason I never really... I, I played it a couple times. Just for a short, brief period. And I just couldn't. I couldn't get into it. I don't know what it was. Like, I love Legacy of the Wizard, but this... I just didn't. And I don't think it has anything to do with the game. The game seems fine. Let's use it! I can't! Never mind, I don't want to use this tool. Where the hell are we now? Also, magic locator device. It says that our friend is up in this particular direction, probably. I think we have to reach them before something terrible happens, Friday the 13th style. But I might be wrong about that. Quickly, before the snake gets you. According to this, the magic locator vice says we have a friend in need right over here. I have a key for you! I have saved somebody! Progress. And I got life for it. Crap, I have to find another magic locator device for each person? Oh man, that's terrible. Just save there, just in case. I didn't mean to jump there, but whatevs. Thanks for the tip that I don't care about. I already figured that out myself. There's gotta be something around here. This place wouldn't just be pointless, would it? Guess so. Well. Oh. I'll take that! No, I don't. Well... 
got a slingshot. Of which has limited ammo, apparently. Ah, whatever. Let's go this... Let's go this way! A door! A warp zone! Let's go! We're somewhere very different. It's just a save here, just in case terrible things happen. Door! Well, I can't see shit, so... Oh, alright. Now we're here. There's a walrus. There's always a walrus! Oh gosh, there's nothing in this direction. Freaking polar bears! Mang! I have to go up. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Before all that, there was me surviving. An extra key? You can just get those from enemies? I'm aware that I'm dying, thanks. It's not news to me. Part of the reason I don't want to play this is because I don't know the game that well. And you have to basically know where you're going to get shit. I found a boomerang! I don't believe you, Mr. Eskimo. I don't believe you at all. Alright, I guess I believe you. What about here, though? Oh, fine. What happens if I hit this with a hammer? Jack. If only I had a light source. Not cool. What happens if you die, anyway? Do you lose anything? Oh, I have three lives, I see. Well! That way sucks. There's a boomerang, but otherwise, nothing. different, does it? It's not. There's gotta be something I'm missing. But I don't have the uh, patience to figure out what. So, let's go up here. And then, that's probably all I'm gonna do. After seeing what's up here.
Yeah, there's all these weird twists and paths, man. Oh boy. Another one of these air doors. Hey, he's given us free life. Nice. I don't care anymore! This is a pretty good game, if you're using a walkthrough or already know what to do. I like the style of game, I just don't have the patience to play games like this that I do not know where I'm going on. And I don't really want to do a walkthrough thing right now. Maybe we'll come back to it someday. Maybe not. I don't know. 